Okay, so this is a TV. Let's see. Let's go to the TV section. Input, I mean. <clears throat> this is channel 4. The little flickering that you see, it's it's my uh, the camera noise. But anyway, I'll show you the menus. There's the different sections for the menus. <coughs> It does have a lot of, uh, let me turn this down, it does have a lot of settings that you could do, adjustments, different picture sizes, standard stuff, 16 by 9 is the default, let's go back. Advanced settings, dynamic con contrast, <clears throat> uh, black tone, and all this stuff. And uh, let's see what else is here picture options, color tone. Go back out. I'm not gonna reset. Here are sound modes. Uh, you got equalizer, which is cool. I haven't messed with that yet. Hmm. <coughs> all the options many languages well actually not many the basics it's got digital output speaker settings <clears throat> right now I have the digital antenna plugged in Um, I have it. I have my network cable plugged in. I haven't uh, set up Wi-Fi yet, but I'm pretty sure it works. Let's see network settings. Yeah, I don't need to do that again. Yeah, it says to unplug it if I want to set up wireless. That's fine. Network status. <coughs> This is something I, don't know, it does, I never heard of this soft AP thing. I don't know what that is. All share. I don't know what that is either. TV name. That was the model number, by the way. UN 40 EH 5300. It's a 40-inch. Okay, so that's network settings system. All right, let's see what this is. Setup. I'm not doing that again. Time. It does a clock. For some reason, the daylight savings time was incorrect when I did it last night. Last night, so I don't know. 
I have multiple on off timers three of each menu language here I could set up keyboard if I have it plugged in yeah, it takes USB keyboards and mouse <clears throat> energy saving crap I don't use it makes the TV less bright of course Eclipse sensor that that started to annoy me last night it even in, in darkness it it automatically was brightening up the the picture and making it darker that's you know I don't, I'm not I don't I don't I honestly don't think anybody uses this stuff so uh, yeah you don't want to you don't want to see the picture brightening up or getting darker while you're watching it so captions I don't know I never tried that I'm sure it has captions but let's leave it off Uh, you could set up a password I guess so people don't change your settings I don't know picture in picture the picture in picture only works when you have let's say the computer connected and you want to see what's on TV then that will work or something like that um, Uh, it's like a screensaver or something. <clears throat> yeah, let's put that on because I'm going to start the TV up in a second. Sound feedback, that's that. That. Selection sound you hear. Whoops. Menu transparency. That makes the menu transparent. Um, this, I have no clue what the hell this is. That's uh, some kind of Special equipment, some kind of HDMI, I don't know. DivX, I don't know. They wanted me to register this crap. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. <clears throat> Support. Let's see if there's a software update. That's a good idea. Let's see. Yeah, I did the update last night. Remote management. Oh, that's cool. Let's see what this does. Picture test. Can you still see the problem in this test? No, I don't know what the problem is. Just. Sound test. Oh, close. Signal. That's pretty cool. I like that. Show you signal to noise ratio. 
wonder if I change the channel. Does it still show up that box? No, it goes away. what channel 7 looks like sometimes I have a problem with this yeah what's up cat hey leave that alone now let's go back to this um that's signal's perfect today By the way, I did a s channel scan and found 58 channels, but some of them were pixelating. Um, what the hell is this? Oh, that's this thing. I know what that is. That's a little thing. That's a little um, smart TV feature. You know, all this crap over here, I can't get rid of. That's like free advertising for them. I will never shop on TV. I could probably use that if it's free. My friend says he's going to give me a password for that. I don't know. I don't use that. And Amazon, I'm not going to buy any movies from Amazon. But uh, YouTube's kind of cool. It works pretty nice over on this. That's an app. That's a 4 meg app I had to download. The, the TV some has uh, um, the TV has like 1 gig of memory in it. And I believe I have 750 megs free or something. After all this other junk was installed already. Uh, let's see. Let's watch. Let's watch a video. Oh. One hour and 35 minutes. Well, I'm not going to watch the whole thing, but this is a preview of how YouTube works. Let's play it for a little while, see if it buffers. I had no buffering problems last night. So let's see how.